All right, guys. Uh, today's video, we have my Droid Bionic, and I'm going to show you guys well three things basically. First, how to make an Android backup. Next, how to install a custom ROM, uh, which is going to be Liquid ROM, pretty cool. And third is how to restore your phone back to stock, or not back to stock. I'm sorry, restore your Android backup. That's what we're going to look at. So let's go ahead and get into that. Let me just show you what I'm running right here, so you guys uh, can just be up to speed on this. We go into system and go to about phone and show you that I am running 4.1.2 Jelly Bean on the Droid Bionic. Um, so that is what you're running. You are going to have to have uh, obviously have an app like Super User to have root permission. Where is it at here? Super User. And you're going to want to have Safe Strap installed, which is Safe Strap version 3.11. And up here it does say system re state, recovery state is installed. So if we have all of those uh, prerequisites made, um, lastly you're going to want to go ahead and download the ROM you want to install. And mine is downloaded, I'll show you guys here. Two Jelly Bean ROMs right here. You need, this is the liquid ROM I got right there for Jelly Bean and the Google applications for it also. So both those are right there know where they are on your SD card so you can navigate to them through recovery so also lastly you want to make sure you have good battery life I got probably 80 percent you want to have 80 percent or more when you're doing this so let's go ahead and power off the phone alright powering off uh, we're gonna power back up into safe strap now something I noticed I don't know if this is just new with jelly bean or whatever obviously safe strip does work with jelly bean so power on what I was gonna say is for some reason, this menu button, the hard button, doesn't seem to work. It seems like you get to touch the screen menu button to get into it when you're in Jelly Bean. So when it comes up, you want to hit this right there. Yeah, it's actually that screen button, not the actual button down there. Uh, it kind of threw me for a while. I'm trying to get in there, and I couldn't get in. So just remember to touch the actual screen button. So this is what we've got right here. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to make a backup of stock system. So we're just we're on stock right now. We're gonna go to backups and go ahead. We're gonna set the name of this backup to today's date, which is 4-18-13. Hit go. So that's your backup name. And go ahead and swipe across. Oh wait, you also want to pick external or internal for your backup location. I want external because I have room on that. So go ahead and swipe. And it's going to make an Android backup. It's going to take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to let this run and we'll come back to it. Alright, so our backup here was successful on our stock ROM slot. So we're just going to hit back. And we're going to go back again. And you're back to this screen. Okay, so from here we're going to go ahead and go ahead and install a ROM. Uh, and the ROM I have, like it says, Liquid ROM. And the first thing it tells me to do is to um, put it in ROM slot 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into boot options. ROM slot 3 is the only slot that this ROM is hard coded for. So that's the only one it's going to work on. So we're going to click on it. We're going to activate a 1 gig size. You can activate more than that. That is just how much space you have for apps. So if you play like some high graphic app applications like racing or sh first person shooters, you're going to maybe want to have 2 gigs. If you just have your standard applications in there and some Angry Birds and some random games, 1 gig normally is enough for this. Just be watching your space here. It takes about 2 gigs and I have about 6 gigs. So just to know how much space you have to work with there on how big of a slot you should activate. So this is going to create ROM slot 3 for me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And this process of creating these slots is going to take uh, another five minutes. So we're going to let it run through and we'll go to the next step. All right, round slot three just finished creating and flashed back to the screen when it was done running those uh, scripts. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on round slot three, which is green. We're going to set nickname and we're going to call it instead of round slot three. We're going to call it so I can remember it. We're going to call it liquid. So just put that in there, liquid, and then hit go, um, and then hit back, and our ROM slot is green, it's called liquid, we can go back, 
and we're on ROM slot 3 up here so we can go ahead and go into the install process now anytime you um, install a ROM you always do wipes first this is a new ROM slot so you don't technically have to do this but just to get in the habit of it anytime you install a ROM so we're activating ROM slot 3 anything we do on ROM uh, anything we do in these like wipes and backups and restores and all that stuff is now going to do it on ROM slot 3 so we're going to go to wipes first we're going to wipe cache swipe across to wipe it go back Delvet cache swipe across to wipe it go back factory reset swipe across to wipe it go back system swipe across to wipe it go back we just did our four wipes we can go back again down here go to install now I gotta find my uh, my stuff here which I think we're gonna have to go up a level up a level scroll to external and then go to Oh, that was the wrong file. Go up a level. Where's external at? External. There we go. Jelly bean rounds. Not that one. Fat finger and stuff. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and hit liquid jelly bean and hit that. This is a Kexic ROM. So um, it will run on ice cream sandwich or jelly bean. We're going to add one more zip. So add a zip. And then we're going to add the Google applications. So there it is. So we should have two files, max 10, and then we're going to go ahead and swipe it, and it'll, it'll flash both our, uh, our ROM and our Google applications, or uh, G apps. So swipe across, and first is the ROM, and the next will be the Google applications. Let's just let this run. Again, probably going to take up to five minutes probably. So I'll let it run, and we'll come back to it. Alright guys, our ROM and Google applications have flashed to this device, or yeah, been flashed. So all you got to do right now to boot up this ROM is go ahead and hit Reboot System right there on the bottom. And what you're going to get is um, your logo, your safe strap splash screen, but instead of being red from on stock slot, it'll be green, which means that you're running on a safe slot or ROM slot 1 through 4. And you can hit this button to skip this, or you can just let it boot. It'll boot all by itself, too. You don't have to hit that button to skip it. Um, so let's let this thing boot up. I'm going to do a little setup on it, and then show it to you. Oh, yeah. I always got to show off the uh, boot animation on stuff. I always think it looks really wicked cool. So there you go. Liquid Smooth. That's the Liquid Smooth ROM. This is actually by D Hacker. He's uh, one of the devs on this, along with a bunch of other guys, I think. Um, so there you go, that's boot animation, let's let this thing boot up. Alright, here is uh, Liquid Sc Smooth here. I um, just skipped through the all the install stuff really quick so that uh, you guys don't have to see that. Um, just going to show you guys the ROM really quick, looks pretty slick. This is, like I said, this is a Kexic ROM, so it does work on Jelly Bean or Ice Cream Sandwich on your phone, whichever you have, it does not matter. Um, Let's see some stuff in here data usage looks like there is all kinds of interface tweaks lock screen navigation performance pie controls ooh man this thing is packed full of goodies theming sidebar quick settings power yeah power menu oh man yeah advanced woo love it so this is actually android version 4.2.2 jelly bean like I said droid bionic um so lots of fun stuff to tinker with in there for sure. Let's just check out an app drawer really quick. Apollo, DSP Manager, Notepad V3, Torch. So pretty basic. I mean, I'm sure widgets are all pretty much the basic stuff in here too. Yeah, so. Um, but I uh, love all the customization in there. I could show you this thing for probably 10 minutes if I... Uh, if I want it here. If you guys want to see my liquid smooth ROM review, watch my next video. That is just how you install the ROM. So now let me show you how, go, how you go back to stock and switch between ROMs. It's really, really simple. Okay? So we're just going to back out and do a reboot if you have that option and reboot. What we're going to do is when you come back to the boot, uh, the splash screen here, we're going to go ahead and just enter um, safe strap again right there at the bottom with that like I said not this menu button but the one on the physically on the screen 
um, and then we're just going to activate your stock slot or whatever ROM slot you want to activate and it'll boot that uh, that slot until you change it so hit the menu button alright so here you go safe strap just booted up now the backup we made is strictly for restoring your stock slot so we're going to activate our stock slot right here hit activate and now everything's red go back out of the boot menu now if you ever have a problem with your stock slot that's why you made the backup you can hit you can hit the restore button over here you can pick your backup stock boom and restore it now you shouldn't have a problem with it if you're just using ROM slots and you're not really doing anything to your stock slot so at this point you don't have to restore nothing don't have to do anything else you just activated that slot that's all you did it says it's activated right here you reboot reboot system and you're now going to boot back to the what we started with my original stock system with my little baby ninja baby on the front of it um, so I'm just going to show you guys how that boots up and that's it that that now gets you um, making a backup an Android backup uh, flashing a ROM and going back to your stock ROM slot or like I said you could hit that button and it would restore your stock ROM slot or if you made a backup or an Android of your um, like slot 3 that we just installed you can restore that so works either way um, so just let this boot up but hope you guys like this hope this gives you good information on safe strap 3.11 for the droid bionic and how to use it and you and figure it all out um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it check out my webpage right here above my thumb you can follow me on uh, Facebook or Twitter all right there it is Boot it back up, run the stock slot, everything's exactly how I left it, passwords, everything's fully intact. If you want to go back to Liquid ROM, boot back in the safe strap, activate ROM slot 3, or what I can label Liquid, and you'll go right back to it. No restore, nothing like that. You have actual different separate slots. So separate ROMs installed, and you just boot to whichever one you want. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.